so with me in the studio right now is the winner of the 2014 Zara Nelsova Memorial Award for Canadian Cellists. This is all part of the International Cello Festival of Canada. So I want to introduce you to Julie Eresh. Good morning, Julie. Good morning. Oh, it would help if I turn your <laughs> mic on. Want to say that again? Good morning, Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> See, we all, I, you know, yeah. The audiences that listen to me know that I do that often. Leave mics on, forget to turn them on. Um, congratulations, Julie. Thank you very much. What was this competition like? How, what was the process like? Well, at, at the beginning, you have to send a recording of yourself, a video recording, and then there's a jury who will choose three persons to come to play. Uh, in the festival and then we had to play only 30 minutes recital each and that's it not bad for uh, international competition like yeah. this considering what you have to do for some other competitions yeah it's very nice it's like uh, like a concert you would give uh, for a normal audience so it's a, a nice opportunity to play so Julie what is your background where are you from I'm from Montreal I was born there and I studied there until my master's and then I did my master in Montreal but I at the same time I went uh, in an exchange program to Vienna in Austria and I studied there uh, for a year and I met this amazing teacher uh, Stefan Kropfitsch and I really really loved him so I, I came back another year after that to continue studying with him a little while. So can I ask you, and I know you've, you've probably been asked this a lot, but why the cello? Why the cello? Well, <laughs> um, yeah, I was living uh, in a bit on the, co not the countryside, but not di di directly in the city. Um, and there was, my parents were working during the summer, like the whole time. So my brother and me, we had to go to some s little summer camps and there was one right like next to our home it was a small art camp it was very nice and there was uh, some instruments we could choose and try there so there was a cello i had no idea what was the cello when i was eight years old and i just the first day i came back home and i was like i need to play this instrument it's amazing <laughs> because i didn't i didn't play one note on it it was just i was holding it and maybe like doing pizzicato but you know it it was just so fantastic to like just hold it and i heard a bit of the sound from the teacher who was there and i i really really like was very thrilled about it so. it spoke to you yeah uh, of all the pieces that you've played you have a favorite to play on the cello no <laughs> <laughs> they're like all your children um well it's very strange sometimes i feel this piece is very uncomfortable to play but after a while i will take it back and then suddenly i i discover something new about it and i get i, I don't know i get to love it very much and so it it varies and it depends on your mood and how you feel but uh, i i I wouldn't have a favorite, I don't think so. Do you have a preference as to whether you like to play with a chamber or orchestra or another, you know, a duo, duet? Yeah, well, I think where I feel the most comfortable is uh, when I play in small ensemble, ensembles, like mm -hmm. uh, like um, trio or quartet, even duet. Uh, and actually, I have a duet uh, with my pianist who played with me in the competition, Michel Alexandre Brocard, and we're playing together since like many years now, and uh, we want to develop that, so uh, it's nice. Uh, we just found a name for our duet. Oh, what is <laughs> it? What is it? It's a duo Ariétis. Nice. And uh, what does that mean? Well, it's <laughs> yeah, we're both from uh, we're both Aries, and this oh. is uh, Ariétis come in in the Aries constellation yeah. in. in the, the two main stars are called um, Alpha Arietis and Beta Arietis, okay. and they are the most shiny in the constellation, and they work together. So we thought it was kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It sounds beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. So w what does it mean now to have won this award? Where do you go from here? Well, it's... Um, 
of course in the development of somebody like in music uh, career it's important to have uh, sometimes well to participate in competitions it helps you to uh, improve a lot to get some feedback and to see where you s where you are in the world but um it's nice to get uh, to get a prize you uh, i don't know how to say the p huh? <laughs> the Sarah, Sarah's yeah, helping. Sarah I'm going to say, I'm going to say that it's validating. It's validating yeah. to be to be peer reviewed and reviewed by people who you admire as well. And and having that that validation, I experienced that too. That was that's I think the best part of it. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's exactly it. And also, be, it's a Canadian competition, and it's in memorial of Zara Nelsova. Yeah. And for me, this is important because she was like. A great cellist from from here and uh, women it, it was rare it was well, probably one of the first and I mean for me it's it's important that it's even more connected to uh, where I come from and who I am yeah yeah she's got a wonderful story Paul Marlene the artistic director of the festival was my guest last Saturday and he actually got to play with her and uh, yeah, uh, quite, uh, quite a remarkable story. Now, we are going to get a chance to see you perform Sunday, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, between uh, The concert starts at 1, and it's at Eckhart Gramite Hall. What are you going to be, be, be performing? Well, uh, we'll perform the Debussy Sonata, um, Schumann's folk piece, five, five pieces in folk, styles, folk style, and um, the Piazzolla Grand Tango. Nice. That's that. You're talking my language now when uh, you say yeah, tango. True. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we were really organized, Sarah, we would have asked Julie this because we've been talking. Julie is like the sweetest woman you will ever meet. It's been such a pleasure meeting you <laughs> and for you coming into the studio. We've just been gabbing. We should have picked a piece of music. We should have asked you what you were going to be performing. But we'll do that before the hour is out. Before you leave, I'll get you to write down what you're performing, and we'll play We'll play something okay. on the air. Um, Julie, thank you so much for coming on to Classic 107, and congratulations again. Thank you very much. Um, Julie Edish, the winner of the Zara Nelsova Memorial Award for Canadian Cellists. Uh, this was all part of the International Cello Festival. And we should mention the other two finalists were Brian Yoon and um, Raphael... Sarah, help me with this name. Winroth Brown. Winroth Brown. Um, I saw Brian perform yesterday at the concert that I was emceeing, the Mellow Cello. Uh, wonderful uh, uh, performer and a really, really sweet guy. So congratulations to all the finalists, but especially to Julie, who uh, came out the winner. And uh, please check out the concert uh, tomorrow afternoon, 1 o'clock at Eckhart Gramate Hall. You can get tickets at the door or at McNally Robinson Booksellers. You can also go to internationalcellofestivalofcanada.ca and find out more information about the festival that way.